welcome back to Danina Farms. I'm Nina. Here we talk all about homesteading, homemaking, and homeschooling. Today I have a homeschooling video for you that is in conjunction with the Show and Tell series hosted by Abby at Rooted and Rest and Jessica at the Waldock Way. The theme for the month of August is homeschool planning and organization. So I'm going to walk you through um, some things that I use and uh, put into practice for keeping my homeschool organized and also how I plan out our homeschool week. So let's dive in. So first I'm just gonna show you some things that I use to keep me organized. Uh, one of the things that I think all homeschoolers have that I've seen on YouTube is one of the three tier carts. So this is the cart that I'm talking about. Uh, this came from Ikea and this is my teacher's cart. At the top is four magazine holders, um, one for each of my kids, and then we have one for combined subjects. This is where I hold all their teacher's manuals or any individual work that they need to do that they do with me. Um, so we have our um, Matthew C, all about reading, and then I'll put their little individual lessons for uh, all about reading in here too for each of the kids. Um, on this next shelf is where we keep all of our All About Reading supplies. So you see uh, readers, the card boxes for the, both the levels that I'm teaching this year. Bottom is any um, just kind of extra supplies that we have. <laughs> this is falling off. Um, extra supplies that I need, uh, pins, and then these are our little vocab cards here. Uh, this is a... Uh, multiplication printable that I got and then this is all of my father's world kindergarten stuff that we use um, with our kindergartner on a regular basis so this just kind of keeps me organized and I keep it really close to their homeschool table that way I can have an easy access for me um, one thing that has been really helpful in order in order to keep me organized is I color code my kids I know you've heard me talk about this uh, several times um, everything for this particular child is blue, pink, purple, and greens, and so forth. So what lives in these bins are their daily notebook. This is um, the clipboard that we use for nature study. Uh, sight words stuff are in here. Their are nature, nature journals are in here. I have a, a little dry erase board that we will use. It stays in, in, in here. Their flags book, and then their daily checklist live in these bins so that's just been really helpful and it's very visual for the kids to be able to see which is theirs and we have kind of started to eliminate some fights on that and the number one tool that has really helped our homeschool year and helped me to kind of put our year on autopilot and help me stay organized and kind of know where we're at in the year is putting together a crate. This idea came from Christy Clover at Raising Clovers. I will link her website and her blog down below so that you can go and kind of get a better idea of um, how this works, but I will explain it the best I can. Um, so what I've done is I have one hanging folder per week. So I have 36 of those because we school for 36 weeks. Um, and in each one of these hanging folders, I have these manila folders. Christy Clover uses like colored folders, but I already had these and I didn't want to spend the extra money on colored file folders. Um, so I just labeled these with stickers and some um, magic marker. So again, just like over there in their um, individual uh, bins over on the other shelf, they're color coded so they know which week is theirs. All of their work goes into this folder for that week. Um, so I will pull the oldest ones out and kind of show you what is in here. Okay, to give you an idea of what I put in the folders for each kid for each week, we have our Explode the Code. Um, I do not rip the pages out of the workbook because they move at different paces. Um, with this, so I'll just rip the pages out that we're going to use for that particular week and then move it to the week behind. Um, we keep our handwriting pages. I did rip this out of the book and just put one lesson per week. Um, their Matthew C work is in here. 
uh, one lesson per week goes in here. I rip those out of the book and we just do the next lesson that is in there. Same with um, spelling list, with the spelling list and spelling work. Um, all the My Father's World uh, geography work sheets for that week. And My Father's World made it really easy. So you just pick, put those uh, weeks in that week's folder. Really easy to divide up. And then their language arts work. Um, I just went through and did it by subject of how their language arts um, curriculum worked. So they do kind of like one specific uh, subject. So like this week they're working on conjunctions. So he will have all the worksheets for conjunctions this week. So that's just kind of a quick overview of what's in each folder and how I uh, store that. So when I get ready to sit down and plan for the week on Sunday, um, this is kind of the process that I will do. As I will come to my crate, which is sitting over here, you can't see it, I will pull out that week's uh, hanging folder with all of the kids' work in it and bring it over to the table along with their school binders. And and I have these notebooks, these spiral notebooks that we'll do for checklists. This is mainly for the kids. Um, and I will write, you can see that, I will write a checklist of everything they need to do in a given day. I don't do this for the entire week on Sunday. I just do like, I'll sit down tonight, Sunday, and do Mondays. And then a Monday night, I'll sit down and do Tuesday for them. Um, that way, if they didn't finish all the work that is in their notebook, I will just add it to the list for the, for the next day. So this is mainly just for the kids to keep them organized and to see how much work they have to complete. So when I sit down, I have my planner. So this is my planner. I have a video of what this looks like on the inside, and I will post a little card um, up here along the top. That way, if you guys are interested to see what is in my planner and how that looks um, and what planning pages I use, it is in that video. So I will come to my planner and I will just start to fill in. So I will just find, grab my teacher's manual and start to fill in from my teacher's manual what we are doing for that particular week. My Father's World is really good about laying it all out for you. Uh, we're gonna work on my oldest son's notebook first. And so I'll just kind of show you how I have this laid out. So this in the front is like tracking sheets for different curriculums that he's working on. And My Father's World says to have two notebooks, I think one for geography and then one for Bible and all the like science pages and stuff. I just put everything in one big notebook and um, that way we didn't have to keep up with two. So I have a, I think this is an inch and a half notebook. So I have their Bible verses in here. Sorry, it's really loud downstairs. Um, their geography notebook and the way that they said to lay that out is in here. Um, their language arts has a grammar, suggest a grammar journal, so that's in here for them to reference to. We do vocabulary, so our vocabulary pages are in there, and we have science journal pages in here. And then in the very back, I have these tabs, Monday, th Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I will take this is a, may seem like a lot of work, but it's helped my kids um, to kind of keep track of what they need to do for each day. And we can also just pick this notebook up and run out the door if we need to do that. So I will take the worksheets from here and put into here on like what I want them to do on Monday. And in here I have uh, language arts and math. And we usually just stick their geography work in the front. So I don't have a label for that. And it's really helped them. It was really helpful last year. It's been very helpful this year. So that's kind of how I'll divide up their work. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now for him for next week. Okay, so here we go. We're going to load 
my oldest notebook. We have geography sheets. So our Sunday sheet that's just going to go on the front. Then under language arts, he has his handwriting for the week. And he will just take this sheet because it's got four days on one sheet and he will just move it back when he's done with it for that particular day. Um, language art sheet, three, four, five, six. We have six sweeps. We only do language arts four days, so I'm gonna have him double up on the first day. And then he has explode the code. He will get one of these sheets. And then spelling, he gets one spelling sheet. And then for math, he does two math sheets a day. So he will get two math sheets for Monday. ready to go for the week. Um, now all I have to do for him is to fill out his checklist. That is a look at, at what his checklist will look like for Monday. All right, I have everybody's notebook and checklist done and their notebooks are loaded with all of their work in it for the week. So what I do is I take the empty uh, hanging folder with all of their empty file folders and it goes right here in the very back. And as we work through the weeks, I'll just keep moving them back. And so in the front is next week's work. Um, I have And our last bit of helpful organization um, system that I have is once the kids get finished with their work from their notebook on every day, they will take it and they will bring it and put it in this tray. This is our last six weeks worth of work. Um, and then I'm going to go through that in just a little bit. And then I have different folders for each of the kids and I will put what I plan on saving for the year in these folders and that's where we'll live till the end of the year when I get ready to make their portfolios. All right our table is set to start tomorrow in the morning. I have the kids notebooks, their checklist, and their pencil boxes all set out ready for them to go along with my teacher planner. So thank you for hanging out with me while I planned our week coming up of school and showed you some of our organizational um, items or systems that we use to keep our homeschool organized. As I said, this video was in conjunction with um, Rooted in Rest and The Walled Up Way. I will post the um, playlist for all the other videos that are um, doing a collab and that show homeschool show and tell. So look for that down below in the comments. I will also post any uh, resources that I showed you today along with some other videos that I have made that I think might be helpful for you. So thank you for following along today. I hope that you have a great day and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll catch you in our next video. Thank you. Bye.